Hi everybody, this will be Friday then. Sorry I'm kind of uh, backlit here, but uh, nice sunny day. Can't waste it. Right, well, you may have uh, worked out by now that I am in fact retired. But still look forward to the weekend. How does that work? Go figure. It's probably a lifetime of conditioning, I think, does that. Right, now, let's get our promo done and out of the way. Breathe in. Last week's film uh, was looking at uh, things that you can find wandering around the countryside and keeping your eyes open basically. Uh, we find everything from a complete station to, well, lumps in the, lumps in the ground. <laughs> so it just goes to show what's about what isn't about. Um, there's all sorts of uh, fencing bits and pieces that you can uh, look for to identify railways. Uh, I think it also perhaps showed the folly of going out walking and not taking a map. You can end up three quarters of a mile from where the railway is, up to your ankles in water, trying to convince yourself that you're actually standing on the railway. <laughs> so you're right, yeah, I, I heard you say that, yeah, very true, very true. But I have to say, even with a map, sometimes uh, it's difficult to find or to locate exactly where you are. Uh, you think you're standing next to the railway, and in actual fact, the railway's in the next field. Yeah, probably says more about my map reading, doesn't it, than uh, the actual uh, maps, because the maps are never wrong, I think. Yeah, so there you are, says you're right. So, that was uh, looking last week and the uh, bits and pieces to be found in lots of places in the country, probably in the world. Although, of course, uh, we fence our railways, but if you look at uh, railways from around the world, they don't tend to do fences, do they? Excuse me. <coughs> uh, which might seem odd, except when you look for the reasons for us fencing it, you, you might think, well, it's to keep people off the railway, isn't it? No. No, when the fences were first proposed, it was uh, going across private land and the hoi polloi that owned the land didn't want these uh, ruffians from the railway wandering all over their precious, uh, their precious crops and what have you. So they insisted that the railways fenced uh, the line in uh, to avoid the inconvenience of having people wandering about on their estate. <laughs> so there you go. Right, now, that's uh, last week. Next week, a tidy up job. We've been on this uh, railway for the best part of a month now, and I was just perusing, and uh, I realised there were only really three station sites that we hadn't covered in, uh, in all our looks, all our films. So I thought, well, that's worth it. Was it three? I think it was three, three or four. I'm going for three. Uh, so I just, just thought, well, what a way to wrap it up, isn't it, really? Go out and find the last three. So that's what we do, pop and have a look. Uh, and again, it's a, quite a broad spectrum. Um, no more complete stations, I'm afraid. We've done, done all of those. But again, it, there's some interesting stuff when you dig and delve, uh, some mysterious stuff. And it just goes to show also how all these railways have been assimilated into the landscape. So. Hope you'll join me for that. Uh, we'll assemble next Friday and then we'll go off and to finish our railway hunting and then from there uh, we'll do something different for a while. We will come back to railways. All my railway fans now watch. Slope off after this one. <laughs> uh, there, there's some uh, there's stuff there worth seeing, I think, but then I would. Uh, and I hope you'll stay with me. So, assemble next Friday. And we'll get this done, and then we'll go on from there.